Hello, I am Jay Rishikesh. So today in this part of Thunkable tutorial, we are going to learn how to create your own online chatting app with the help of Thunkable and Firebase 2. So let's click this create new app button because of that we can name our project as a chat app. So then we are going to select the category as a communication or we, let's search as education. So then you need to uh, disable this one. I'm going to create the new project and it's on the processing. So then you can able to uh, navigate to a new design screen part. So then uh, here you can see the your mobile emulator for designing your application. So now what I'm going to do means now here I'm going to set as I'm going to drag and drop on label here. So then I'm going to drag and drop on bar text input too. So after the text input, we are going to have another one text input for room key. So then we are going to have one button here for uh, connecting and we are going to have one button for inviting or we can have this button in the room itself so let's delete this button so then what I'm going to do next means first labels text is going to be chat app so let's check, uh, set as chat app so then I'm going to set this font size as 25 so here you need to keep your your application's name so for my application is the chat app right so I'm keeping as chat app so then I'm going to do what I'm going to do next means in the first text input one so it's going to be username so name so then the second text input one to do means we are going to set as a room key room key to join so then we are having another one button like connect connect button connect with the room so then i'm going to, what i'm going to do next means i'm going to click this absolute size to the pixels yes then what i'm going to do next means i will set this screen vertical alignment is going to be space around and you can design your app as yourself so then what I'm going to do next means in the screen too, we are going to drag and drop one row here. So after the row, we are going to drag and drop one list viewer. After this row one, we are going to not inside the row one, it's after the row one. So then again, we are going to drag and drop one row after the uh, list viewer one. So this, uh, first of all, let's have a, let's add components for row one. So row one is for, so let's drag and drop one button here. So this button is going to be for end, okay? So can end their room. So the background color of this one is going to be red color. So then uh, this is going to be at the left side of this screen. So let's keep as horizontal alignment is going to be in the left side. So then what I'm going to do next means we are going to have one label for displaying the room key. So here we can keep as a room key, okay? So then what I'm going to do next means we are going to have one button for uh inviting the people for that we are going to have one row after the label okay label two so so inside this a uh, row one itself so then what i'm going to do next means this uh row three horizontal alignment is going to be at the right side so then we are going to drag and drop one button again so it is going to use to help uh, the user for uh inviting the user so let's have a text of invite so then I'm going to set this background color as white color and I'm going to set this uh, text color as in a blue color. So then also background color may be, let's keep it known. So then I'm going to set this height of this row one is going to be fit content. So that, that's all for this one. So then in the row two, what I'm going to do means I'm going to drag and drop and lay text input for inputting a text. So then what I'm going to do next means I'm going to drag and drop one button here. So then what you want to do next means here, uh, here you can uh, click the send button. Send. Because of that, the message will be sent to the user. And it is going to be fit content. So this uh, type here is going to be type message. Type message. So then what you want to do next means, so uh, then you are successfully done for the designing part. So let's go to the blocks part and design. Uh, design the blocks so then before that i'm going to uh, search for a firebase here here you can get the real-time database right so drag and drop inside our mobile application so then first of all we are going to the firebase.google.com so you now we are going to create a new database in our account so let's click this uh go to console at the right top so then near to your account icon so then here you need to click this uh, add project and you need to name your project as chat application it's my app name so then i'm going to click this continue so then i'm going to disable this one why because i don't need uh, this at all so then my project is creating for me so let's wait until its project uh, is creating the project 
but before that uh, until it's creating the project let's go to the back to the tank table and what i'm going to do next means i'm going to a uh, drag and drop one alert here this alert is going to alert that uh, user want to fill everything please fill okay fill is the title please fill everything everything like that it's a uh, one please fill everything and also in the confirm place we're going to have okay like that that one so then let's go to this one and firebase so you your new project has been uh, ready now so our new project has been started let's click this continue button so then because of that you can see you can uh, go to your uh, project overview so if i'm going to click this web button means i can directly navigate to the settings but before that what i need to do another one thing means let's go to the real-time database so then here in the real-time database i am going to click this uh, create database so let's click the next next and the new database is creating for me now so let's wait until it's creating the database for us so this is a uh, this is our real time database now what i need to do means let's go to the settings and project settings so here you need to click this web button so it's showing the like html icon right that you need to which is uh, after the android you need to click that one so then in the register app section we need to name our uh, project name so let's uh, name our project what's our project name chat application so let's na name our project so chat application okay so this is the app so then we don't need the firebase hosting so let's click this register app so then the app is registering in the firebase for us now so let's wait until that so yes uh, so here you can see get this api key and the database here so let's copy the api key here let's copy this one and back to the thunkable so if you click this a uh, real-time db1 component means you can see this one right and click the go to firebase settings so here uh, you can create you can click uh, paste the api key inside this one uh, file and which is under the firebase settings uh, section so let's back to the firebase again so let's copy this database url again so not again it's the first time for us so after in the database url section you need to paste this here so first this is a, a part of setting the setting up the firebase settings so let's uh, go to the block section now so guys let's click this blocks button so uh, whenever this button one was clicked that time we're gonna check check for one thing so let's check for you're going to use this if else condition so if both are is equal to now so which both means we are going to use this and function and logic here so we are going to use two, two things here so one is text input one okay so let's do uh, do another one thing let's add one variable as name and set it to now okay so then we are after the name we are having a uh, room key right room key and let's set it as now and after the room key what else we are having means let's have the let's have uh, chats named uh, variable chat name variable and it's not it's not a now so let we need to keep as empty list why because we are displaying it in the list view right so that's why empty list so then now we can use this one i think so so we're going to set the first name is going to be first text inputs one text and what you're going to do next means now uh, then uh, room key is going to be text input two text so we're going to check for two things here okay let's get this logic and logic here so let's keep inside this one so then which both means first we are we are having only two text inputs right only name and a room key and for room key if both are is equal to null means that time it should show the alert that we created in a user interface section so then else these both are not is equal to null they were filled with something means so we are going to navigate the screen to screen two okay so uh, let's uh, go to the program part for the screen 2 whenever the screen 2 was opens that time with the help of real time db1 component we are going to add listener here so what room key means that uh, room key that we created here so then we need to display the room key in this uh, label 2 so this label id is label 2 so in this label 2's uh, text is going to be this one 
so then what i'm going to do next means whenever the screen was opens that time it is going to store your so then what we need to do means again we're going to create another one thing like a save we're going to save another one thing after this one after this playing so what we are going to save means we're going to save as had joined has joined like that so it's space has joined who space has joined means so uh, let's keep this variable name has joined so username has joined so then value is going to sorry this uh, value in value part only we need to keep this one so at uh, the room key part we need to keep as this room key so uh, this is for this one so then what you're going to do means let's uh, do like this one so because of that it will not confuse for us so then what you're going to do next means whenever you was clicking the button for so not i think it's a button yes button for so whenever you was clicking the button for that time it is going to use the same saving the data that way so but what you're going to do here means uh, key is going to be room key only so here instead of this uh, one what you're going to do means so let's use this one what we are seeing means first of all we are going to display the uh, user's name okay user's name so then we are going to give a space and it's a symbol and again space uh, uh, we need to give a colon here space colon and space so i'm going to add another one item here so in this uh, third uh third item what we want to do is they means we're going to display a text of text input three okay text input three so then what we want to do next means we have done this name and uh chair this one text input so we don't need this label currently now so then what you want to do next means let's go to the whenever uh, let's go to the real time db1 and whenever data was changed at that time we're going to display it in a, uh, our uh, variable right so for that what you're going to do means uh, let's insert at uh, so uh, in list so list is going to be the label so the chats label so we don't need at last we need as first okay so first will be very easy to the user so input the first as the value okay as the value so then what you're going to do next means we have successfully displayed it here so then whenever you was clicking this end button so button 2 so that time what you're going to do means also we need to do another one thing mainly here so that is this list viewer id is list view 1 so in this list view 1 what we need to display means we need to display this chats variable so list viewer ones uh text item is going to be this chats okay this one so then whenever you was clicking this button to so leave button i mean the end button so that time we are going to click this so it's button two is whenever you was clicking the button to end button so that time we are going to leave the screen for leave the database for that what we are going to do means first of all we are going to remove the listener from we're going to from a variable of room key a key is going to be a room key so then what we're going to do next means but before that uh, we need to send another message here so send one so let's uh, delete this not this floor box i don't i don't need this alone now what we'll do next means uh, let's we can duplicate this save duplicate this one and we're going to save one thing which means so username and the username if my name is jai means jai had left the room like that they had left the room like that this one message is going to be sent automatically to other users so then uh, we are going to remove the listener here so then once it was removed the listener now we are going to navigate the screen to screen one so again they can join any other rooms or they can leave the app so then what i'm going to do next means whenever user was clicking this invite button button 3 so whenever you was clicking the button 3 that time uh, we are going to uh, share a data so for that what we need means we need a share a uh, component invisible component so let's add so it will be navigating to the screen one automatically so let's back to the screen two now so let's go to the blocks and by whenever you was clicking the button 3 invite button that time in the share with the help of share component you just share a message so we are going to use a join function here join component so hello hello 
Hello, I am space and we need to leave some space. Hello, I am with, uh, we are going to use the uh, username. Okay, duplicate this variable and set it here and set it to use name, variable name. Hello, I am, if, uh, if I store uh, the variable data as Jai means, hello, I am Jai. So, uh, in a new line, we need uh, in a new line. So, we are going to keep, create one, another one item. So, from a text, you can get this uh, new line. Hello, I am Jay. And a new line, they can get join the community of that app. Like that, we are going to have on this. Let's have a space. So, then we are going to display the room key here. room key is here so then what I'm going to do next means so that's all for this sharing so uh, we are successfully it has created our app now so let's test our app now so let's click this live test button so then you can able to see this one right so that I can give my name as J and I'm going to uh, give this uh, room key as five six seven three five six seven three so let's connect the room Yes, you can see automatically one message has been gone. Uh, Jai has joined like that. So then uh, I'm going to give a leave a message here. I like that. So then I can argue this one like bye like that. So uh, this is how our app is going to work. If you like the video, make sure you click the red color subscribe button and the bell icon. So let's meet on the next video. Bye.